Welcome to Theme Winter. In today's video, we will be looking at how you can set up Zoom webinar using the WP Event in Zoom module. We will also talk about the recent update which brings a better user experience for Zoom event. First, an important note for you. In order to use Zoom event and webinar, you will need to connect Zoom with event in through API and secret key. The good news is, we already published a complete video tutorial on this topic and the link is available in the description box. Go ahead and check it out before watching this tutorial. Coming back to today's video where we are going to talk about the Zoom webinar. Navigate to the event in and click on Zoom then create new events. Write the title and description of the event and move to the event details part. We publish a video tutorial on how to create a Zoom event and the link is available in the description box. Additionally, we have some update for the smoother experience. Here we added waiting room in which only users admitted by the host can join the meeting. Join anytime option allows participant to join anytime. Mute participant upon entry will mute participant sounds when entering the meeting. Moving to the next, scroll a little and here are the webinar option. You can also get a webinar option from the event in dashboard. Go to the event in then zoom and then add new for the new webinar. You can use the edit option for the existing webinar. After selecting the webinar, you will have to select the meeting host. Don't worry about meeting ID. It will create automatically once you publish the event. Set start date time time zone duration don't forget to click the toggle button for required authentication for joining host and participant video you can set the auto recording option for saving the recorded webinar there are some other toggle option like question and answer practice session is the video for host panelists and attendees enable them based on your webinar demand once you are happy with the settings scroll up and publish the webinars you have done it you can show this webinar in the front end of your website with both the short code and elementor widgets. For the short code, go to the event in short code, then zoom meeting and then deny short code. In the pop-up, select the template. If you want the link only, then here's set yes, then select the zoom. It's the webinar title, so choose it carefully. In the end, click on the generate, copy the short code and paste it into the page. Here's the long waited output. In the next step, we will be looking at how you can create and show the output from the Elementor widgets. Edit the page with Elementor and from the left side panel, search Zoom and drop it in the page. Don't be afraid to see something is wrong. Once you update the webinar, the page will update it too. You will get the same option that I described a moment back from the event in dashboard in the left sidebar Elementor settings panel. Once you finished setting, click on the create. After that, update the page. In the next part, let's explore the zoom synchronization option. These features will allow you to manage everything from the event in dashboard. You will need not to log into your zoom account again from the dashboard. Click on zoom. Now press synchronization with zoom. Wait a while and all the webinars and meetings will be loaded in your event in dashboard. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the full video. Stay with the Theme Winter team.